You ready? Uh huh. Okay. Another property of our algebra system is the associative property. This is where we're actually grouping them. They're associations. Our circle of trust. How's this go? It's the uh, s s s so s s s so. What movie is that from? If you know, comment below. And then what was the father's job in there? Yes. I believe he was in the CIA. Associative. We're talking about the associative property of addition and multiplication. Let's take a look at the addition one. We're talking about their associations, their groupings. Here we see that A is hanging out with B. And then C is like a casual friend, but then A and B, they get into a little fisticuffs or whatever. So now A is on the outskirts, and now B and C kick it. Yeah. Oh, I see. What are we talking about? If we had something like 2 plus 3 plus mm, 5, we want to know whether or not that's going to be the same as 2 plus, wait for it, 3 plus 5. Now here, we are not commuting them. No, we're changing their groupings. And we can see that we can go with the associative property of addition and change those groupings. What am I talking about? Over here, see, dot, 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 dot. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5. Well, that's going to be 10. Then, over here we have 2 plus, wait, 8. Yes, because 3 and 5 is 8, and then 2 and 8 is also 10, and then we see that here we get an identity. It's the associative property of addition, but wait, there's more. Let's explore this multiplicative property. Yes. Now here, this is a little stronger. They're like more than friends. Here B and C are more than friends, and then A comes along. I'm not going with the rest of that analogy. Let's just go with an example here. See, if I had 2 times 3 times 5. Now here, I didn't write that dot, but it's implied that it's multiplication. And then, here this is 2 times 3 times 5. We just changed the groupings in our multiplication. And here we go. Following our order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I know. What did she do? Well, here, we changed our groupings. And we do the parentheses first. And here we see this is 2 times a 15. 2 times 15 is 30. Now, I know this is not a rigorous proof, but this is an example of the associative property working for multiplication. And then over here, this is 6 times 5. Do we again get 30? We do. And we see here, we end up with identity and we can change our groupings and when we do that's called the associative property it's who they associate with you know uh, for those of you guys transcribing i'm saying you're done a box and a flower one more a box and a flower.